Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we know what are auxins, let us look at the final conclusion of what we know auxins as on today. So these are the plant growth promoting hormones. They are synthesized at the shoot tip in presence of light. Now you might ask what happens when the sun is at the side? So when the sunlight is coming from one side, let us suppose this is how the sunlight is coming. So some part of the plant is actually receiving more sunlight. So maybe this side of the plant is receiving more sunlight. So more auxins are synthesized on this side. So the concentration of auxin is more on this side and this side the concentration is less. So the growth is more on one side and as a result, the bending takes place. So that is how the, the phototropism comes into picture. So auxin plays a very important role in the phenomenon of phototropism. That's why you would have often seen, if you want, you can uh, try it out at your home, that you place, uh, you take a pot, plant, a small plant in that, keep it near your window, near, not outside your window, near your window, and keep the window panes opened. You will see that after a few days, since the sunlight comes up from the window, the plant will tend to bend towards the window. So the plant tends to bend towards the direction of sunlight. That's because when it receives sunlight from at an angle, some part receives more sunlight, so more auxins get generated, so concentration of auxins is more, so growth is more as compared to the other side. As a result, bending takes place. So it plays a very important role in phototropic movements in plants. So let us quickly look at the role of auxins. So let us look at the role of auxins. What important role do they play? So obviously they promote cell division and elongation as we saw. That is why, that is how they promote growth. They promote flowering. They also prevent abscission of younger leaves and fruits. So now if it prevents abs abscission means shedding of, early shedding of, of uh, leaves and fruits. So if it prevents the shedding of uh, leaves and fruits, it actually helps the plant to retain all the uh, important parts like leaves, fruits, flowers and they all in turn will help in growth. Promote abscission of older leaves and fruits. At the same time, if the leaves are all old and they are no more capable of doing their job correctly, so it is better that they get shaded off. So it promotes the abscission of older leaves but prevents the abscission of younger leaves. It also plays a very important role in epical dominance. Now what is this epical dominance? So let us try to understand what is epical dominance. Epical is related to the term apex. Now it has been observed that the growth of an apical bird inhibits the growth of the lateral birds. So here in this picture you can see this is the apical bird. So if an apical bird is present this will not this branch will not grow anymore and also it prevents the lateral birds to grow so that there is no growth of laterally as such. And in this epical bud is present this hormone. So basically the epical bud releases this uh, substance called IAA that is indole acetic acid which inhibits the growth of lateral birds. So what is the solution? How can we grow it laterally? By a process called decapitation. The meaning of decapitation is to remove the epical bud. D means to remove cap since it is present at the cap, at the apex. So it is called decapitation. So you remove this part and then you can see that the growth starts. So the lateral growth will start taking place once the apical bird is removed and that is called decapitation. So this uh, uh, apical dominance happens because of auxin because auxin also does not promote lateral growth. It only helps in the vertical growth of a plant. It helps in the elongation of the stems and elongation of the roots so it helps the vertical growth but not the lateral growth. Now there are a variety of applications where auxins are used because of these important properties of auxins they are synthetically prepared and they are utilized in the fields of agriculture and horticulture. So one important application is it helps in plant propagation and how do we utilize it? Uh, we 
can utilize it in stem cuttings like you would have seen that in order to promote vegetative propagation you just cut a branch of a plant and then plant it in another uh, place so that it can give rise to a new plant so when you cut a branch of a particular plant and then put it into the soil in some other place that rooting the development of roots initiates because of this uh, plant hormone oxygen so it initiates rooting in stem cuttings that is how it helps in plant propagation it is also used as herbicides herbicides are those medicines which can kill the unwanted plants like the weeds so one example of um, an oxygen which is used as herbicide is 2,4-D that is 2,4-dipenoxyacetic acid so if they can kill the dicot weeds and that is how we can prepare lawns which are free of weeds because weeds are nothing but unwanted plants which take away the nutrition of desired plants and that's how it can harm the plants which we need. It also helps in increasing the size of fruits. You would have often seen some of the fruits for example pineapple. Sometimes they are too big. I mean they are bigger than the normal size also sometimes. So that is because of the application of these synthetic auxins. And that is why some people often say that we should not eat oversized fruit because they have a lot of chemicals in them. And that is true to some extent because when these synthetic chemicals are added externally, too much of their application is of course not good for our health. So these are well, some of the important applications of auxin. And with this we'll end up. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.